What's up guys, it's Revenge here, coming at you with the second episode of our Port Radar Placement series. This episode we'll be covering Hard Hat. Now Hard Hat has a lot of spots to cover with Port Radar. The main place you want to be covering is the A-bomb or the middle of the map, as this is obviously good to defend and is also where a lot of the action happens. The next spot we want to cover is the B-bomb site, which is down the bottom left here. And another main focused area is the top right here in the corner of the map, because lots of traffic comes through here, getting towards the middle of the map. Now there are also two other focus areas we are going to cover, which is the building near the pipe entrance up the top left of the map, and also the bottom entrance towards the middle area down the bottom of this map. Now first off we'll cover some spots around the A-bomb side and the middle of the map. The first spot we're going to cover is behind this traffic cone here in the small mid-room. It gives a good coverage of the whole area and the entrance from down the bottom. Next is behind this cargo crate inside the middle of the map, which covers a good area of the pipe. Finally, we've got this attacking spot where you can nade and throw people towards the pipe. If you're good at it, you can get this nice little throw up here over the top onto the cargo crates to cover a good area of that and also spot anyone camping near the pipes. Finally, if you're defending at the pipes, you want to chuck one over here to get it caught at the end of the pipe to cover anyone around that small building. Next up, we'll cover the B-bomb site and good locations around that, along with the corner down the bottom that can lead onto the middle that you need to cover sometimes. Now this first spot is a good way to attack the B-bomb site from the middle of the map after a successful A-bomb plant perhaps. There's this little nice spot that you can throw a port radar up and over into and it covers a wide area around the B-bomb site covering any attack up there for your friends. Next up we've got this little spot here to cover from the right corner that you use while defending the A-bomb. You can also throw it over the wall from B-bomb to protect from that way too. Finally, we've got a spot if you're attacking a bomb from the bottom right corner, you want to attack and throw it over this wall and catch it from that corner there to show anyone in the mid-room. Finally, at B-bomb site, there's this nice little secret spot that not too many people know about. You can actually throw your port radar inside here and it goes through the wall or you can also shoot through that wall and no one's going to find it there. Next up, we have just one little throw to help you defend this small building here if perhaps you find yourself caught in there. Now this building is not ideal to defend from, there's too many directions for attackers to come from, but if you want to help your team out by covering some directions, you can throw a port radar down here, and it'll cover any attackers from the B-bomb site coming towards the pipe, which is really helpful. And finally, the top right corner of the map, we have a few spots here. Really, they're just little frozen corners, so you literally throw it where you deem fit, but there's a nice little spot I like to throw it up here to defend from people coming from the building. That's all for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed this and hopefully learned something from this. Next episode we'll be covering Dome, so be sure to check that out if you want to learn some pros on that. This has been Revenge. Cheers.